Hello everybody, my name is Bennett and I haven't streamed any game or put any game on YouTube for a long time and there are quite a few reasons for that. The main reason being that my computer really sucks and after a lot of cleaning, I think I've gotten, I've gotten it to work and hopefully I'll be able to actually play something here on the, uh, on the old video thing. Uh, this is one of uh, a potential, this is a potential game of the year candidate, and it is called Undertale. And a lot of people really like this game, and uh, I have to admit, I played through the game the first time, and I really enjoyed it. And I'm going to show you guys one of the different runs that you can go through in the game, and uh, it might be interesting to actually to see how it works. So, let's just get past this intro and let's go really into uh, the game, which is uh, Undertale. So here I am is my little kid and basically this is a maternal figure I think her name is Toriel and she basically kind of explains to me the basics of the puzzle and as well kind of uh, it's kind of like a mother figure so uh, let's see how that goes so yeah let's go through some puzzles just really quickly uh, in the meantime I hope everyone's been doing pretty well because uh, I've been uh, kind of busy with a lot of stuff recently, mostly with uh, holiday stuff, gotten lots of uh, visiting or going to a lot of friends' places, going to lots of parties, uh, just kind of like doing my own thing. Today I went skiing, so that was fun. So there's a dummy. I'm just gonna fight it for a second. Oh, they are for talking. Oh, that was my bad. Wink, wink. <laughs> Oh, something's attacking me? Oh no, why is it attacking me? Oh well, I'm just having to fight it then. Goodbye. <laughs> I think you guys can kind of tell what I'm kind of going with here. I want to see how uh, how this can go. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of find it a little bit loud, but eh, that might be because of the game itself. Let me just say by taking my headphones off, I will be able to... Uh, understand myself a little bit better so yeah uh what have i been doing recently i've been listening to a lot of the giant bomb game of the year they have podcast articles and videos out every day for this past week and i'm currently on to day three and it is pretty fantastic they've been uh keeping themselves really busy and man this music is uh yeah i can't really hear it it doesn't doesn't feel the same without the music i think the soundtrack for undertale is one of my favorite things about this game so far but there are actually a ton of things i really like about this game it's not really the combat which is kind of like uh you don't really see it but it's kind of like a bullet hell shooter type of thing but this one is definitely more of uh it's very similar to earthbound you can choose to be nice to other monsters or you can choose to be uh, maybe not so nice because you know they're monsters and i want to commit genocide i want to do a genocide run I really don't care about her. In my last game, I played neutral. I was so nice to everybody, and I was just like, "Oh, that's that's kind of boring." And everyone was so nice, and I accidentally killed somebody. So now I can never get a full, uh, can never get a full uh, pacifist ending. So screw that. I'm gonna go the opposite way around. Oh, now it's about time. Good luck with that, my boy. Man, that's like my catchphrase. Huh. Oh well. Uh, TV shows haven't there haven't been watching too many that are super amazing, but there's been some moderately good stuff. Otherwise, this one's pretty easy. Just just go up here, get away around. Uh, no. I like butterscotch more than cinnamon. That's fine. I just push. Get some spikes off. Oh, more people to fight. Oh, what is this thing? Approach meekly. Well. Yeah, I'm going to commit a genocide run. I know some people aren't a big fan of it, but uh, I, I, the pacifist run is so boring. I want to really, really give it to them. Yeah, this, one, this one's not too, not too hard either. I just need to go around this way. that a little bit. Oops. What makes you think I'll give you guys any, any mercy? And this is the bullet hell part of it. When the enemies attack you, they kind of throw down projectiles and you're basically just trying to avoid them as best you can. Pretty straightforward. Past 
this part. Oh, more enemies. And yeah, now now I've got probably a few more but uh, time type of things. But they're not too hard. <laughs> Sexy wiggle. Well yeah. But yeah, so basically the whole point of Undertale is that you're essentially going through this underground kingdom and then one of the main conceits of the game is that you can choose to either be super nice or super mean to all the monsters that you find. And last time I went on a super nice route, so now now I'm mad. I'm mad that this this game is making me go through all of this again. Even though, no, to be honest, I, re I really do enjoy it. It's, it's still a top 10 contender for me. Uh, right now, I'm kind of formulating my top 10 list game of the year. And surprisingly, I might have to give one to... Uh, one game that I really played a lot of over this past year was One Piece Warriors 3. So that's going to be somewhere on my list. And I guess it's not going to be a super big surprise when you see it with that, when I eventually write my list. But there's going to be a few more surprises on there, including one game which I feel unfortunately hasn't been given any respect at all, and I have not seen it in any, any single, like, video game list at all. Yeah, I know, it's such a pain in the butt to have to go through that part over and over again, but at least it's a lot faster this time. For sure. Oh, there's a ghost. Alright, Napsta Blook? I don't like it at all. Goodbye. Good, good. Maybe you're crying well. Sustain me. Oh, I want to kill this so hard. Yes. This just sounds pretty catchy though, but... I'm still recording. Um, what are some other games that I wanted to mention? Uh, I want to give Batman Arkham Knight a mention. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit conflicted. It's probably going to make my top 10 game of the year list, but it's also, uh, I don't know, it's also not really one of my favorite games. It's kind of a disappointment to me, and I think it's going to go into my biggest disappointments of the year type of thing. <laughs> Lost one experience point. Boo. Yeah, I'll just give this a I'm going to this stupid bake sale. Yep. Yeah, that's how you do the full screen. They'll keep it, but I'm not gonna get, let them know too much of it. <laughs> Things just keep coming. It's like they want to die. Please don't pick on me. Aw. Well, too bad. Aw, it did damage to me. These don't matter. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of an intense game, but I'm, I think I'm just gonna put it up now because I kind of I don't like this game. For all for all its weirdness and all its like cutesy charm and stuff, it's actually yeah, a pretty good game. I think it's this one. Oh, it's the one after that gets me the trick. That gets me the switch. Nope, the other one. Yeah, skiing was good. Uh, I recently watched Star Wars, and that was really good. Um, I really did have high expectations for it, and to be honest, I felt like the game really, or not the game, sorry, the movie really met all of them. Even though they re retreaded a lot of uh, A New Hope, yeah, I still enjoyed it. Probably stand-up performer to me was uh, John Boyega as Finn. I thought he did a really good job. Of course, Harrison Ford was fantastic in all the scenes that he was in, and... Yeah, I don't know. It's a really good movie, actually. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll forget about it in, in some point because it isn't really like it didn't really inspire that much awesomeness in me as uh, Mad Max did when that first came out. Like Mad Max to me is like a big surprise that came out of nowhere and was fantastic in general. So yeah, I don't know. 
Ah, I can still hear the music from here. I just want to get through this as fast as possible so I can just. Uh, you know what? So I can just kill everybody. <laughs> oh, I have such bad luck tendencies. Oh, well. So, yeah, like I said, Star Wars. Star Wars is great. It was great to see it in 3D and IMAX. Uh, Poe Dameron was also really good. Uh, I really like this character uh, played by. Uh, what's his name? Oscar Isaac, late of uh, Ex Machina and soon to be of X Men Day uh, Apocalypse. What was it? Um, no. Days of Future Pass? What was it called? Eh, whatever. It was like an it was like an apocalypse game. Not a game, sorry, it's a movie. Oh boy. Nope, I'll go the other way. I wanna see what's on this side. See if there's anything that I so I can kill. I can kill oh. Well, you know what that means. <laughs> I'm gonna equip myself a knife. I can kill things. That is pretty awful of me, but eh, whatevs. Oh, Dad, sorry, I'm recording something right now. I will. Wait, you're playing Uruwu. Oh, I better go turn that off. Uh, okay, give me a second. I don't think you guys want to hear uh, Erwu uh, playing in the background, but uh, instead you can just listen to this music. This music is pretty fantastic. I think it's called the Home Song or something like that. I really do like this. It's very guitar based. It's very relaxing. Very homey. triggered like the uh, other version of the, of the song it's a bit shocking I don't know eh. I played this before earlier I don't think I need to really do anything if I wanted to continue progressing through the game I thought there was another level at some point in this game where I did need to find all the items in order to actually continue progressing through but I think that's actually the further version of this game so yeah Yeah, whatever. I really don't care. Toriel, you can... Uh, never mind. I have to somehow distract her, I think, to stop her from constantly getting in my way. Skip, skip. No! No, why did I? Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here, woman. <laughs> for sure, woman. For sure, lady. Asgore will kill you. Yeah, I know about that. You know what happened last time? I killed Asgore. Actually, no, I didn't kill Asgore. No, I, I tried to give him mercy and uh, that didn't work out, so... It sucks to be him. Crazy crap's gonna happen. 
Victoria, you're a nice lady, but uh, I'm gonna murder the crap out of you. Holy jeez. We're in the middle. Oh, ouch. Oh, Tricky, actually, surprisingly enough. <laughs> I don't know. This this part is kind of fun, even though I'm just slowly. I think she means business. I don't have too much life left either. Oh! 306 damage. That was pretty random, but... Yes. Sure, I'll listen to you, lady. Go beyond this door. Keep walking as far as you can. Yeah, I know all about his plan. It didn't work the first time either, so I'm not too worried about that. Yeah. Oh! And it turned into her heart, and later it is gonna break. That's pretty bad. And I believe that leads into a conversation. Nope. With another character. Who will probably turn out to be one of the more antagonistic characters in the game. Kind of a real piece of crap. I don't know. Whatever. It's Undertale time! I'm gonna kill and murder every single thing that comes into my path. I probably missed something though, didn't I? Eh, whatever. Ooh, that's a bit spooky. Oh, there's somebody behind me. I'm right behind you now, little kid. Watching, waiting, doing stuff, though. Human. <laughs> and thus, we are introduced to probably one of the best characters. Okay, the music's pretty awesome, but then you get to meet Papyrus, who's also a pretty awesome character, too. You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. Just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Eh. <laughs> look. No, I don't have time for that. If a human comes through here, I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People ask to be my friend. I'll bathe in a shower of kisses every- Ugh. <laughs> so 
Sometimes you're not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazy and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of a ton of work to get. A skeleton. <laughs> Sims! Come on. You're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Time to the bone. <laughs> Look, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> That's his catchphrase. <laughs> Okay, this music is really good too. The snow? Yeah. That's okay. I was thinking about Undine. Sans! Oh my god, is that a humor? Oh. And it looks so familiar! Oh, hey! Oh my god! It, is that a human? Oh my god! Sounds, I finally did it! Undine, well, I'm gonna... I'll be so popular, popular, popular! <coughs> human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then catch you, and then I'll murder. And then he will be murdered. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue. Only if you dare. <laughs> yeah. Sans is the best character. Part of the reason I'm playing through this genocide run is because I want to fight him. I want to fight him so bad. Macaroni and freeze. That's a good pun, actually. Crap, that's a good pun. Oh, sweet. I'm going to fight the dog. Yeah, he was going to live anyways. See a blue attack? Yeah. Think about blue stop signs. I will do my best. Last time I got the snowman piece, I just ate it and I got f a lot of life. So, uh, sucks to be you, snowman. Wait, that person? <laughs> of course I know who I know. I wanted to know if you know. I know who I know as much as I know who I know who you I know. You know? Oh ho! Speak of the devil. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch this wall of this maze, this orb will administer a healthy zap. Sounds like fun? Because the amount of fun you'll probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans, what did you do? Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved this so easily. Too easily. However, this next puzzle will not be so easy. It is designed by my brother. Sans, you will be certainly surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> he's going his battle body. This is kind of cool. Sure. It gives me life, so it's good to buy one. So 
I can do this. Ah. Yeah, I don't think I really did anything. Actually, I want to kill some things, I think, up top there. There are things I can kill. I didn't understand any of that, and the last time I played, I didn't care either. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna care even less now this time, too. So, uh, yeah. Goodbye, guys. Where's the puzzle? Oh, word jumbo. Sans, I didn't do anything. Whoops. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumbo's these are the hardest. What? No. Oh, unbelievable. Humans solve this dispute. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I still in all the boxes with the letter Z. <laughs> because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> Please enjoy the spaghetti. Little deep that the spaghetti is a trap. And to entice you, you'll be so busy eating it when we realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great papyrus. <laughs> papyrus. Oh, thing is there. Oh, I got hit. Smart doggy. But goodbye, doggy, too. Already got that. Yeah. Good doggies. What's that smell? Eliminate? Fair enough. I really, really don't want them to stay alive. Not at all. Good. My love increase. Wink, wink. Oh. This is an easy puzzle. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Really? Wowie. You resist the flavor of my home cooked pasta. Did you can share it with me? For not human, I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> nah. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> oh yeah, this is not this is a tricky puzzle. Not really though. I know someone look my face. Fortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. As usual, my lazy brother's nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I think I'm surprised we'll solve this conundrum, then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try to give away the answer. Uh, what was it? It was like... Can you 
did all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle. Then it might even be too easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> No, it wasn't. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impossible. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are lime tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They'll make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim too if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the parents will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, this slippery smoke smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on the wall you like. How is that? Understand? Whew. Great. Now there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull the switch, it will make a puzzle that has ever been seen with sir. Not even I will know the solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get ready. All right. Let's make some magic happen. There's something to drink. Yeah, that goes if you fall off by any chance while you're playing this puzzle. Um, darn it, how did I do this one again? It was like... Yeah, that, that's it. That wasn't too bad, actually. It's kind of fun, to be honest. It's down here. Whoa. I gotta kill everything. Something in there I can get into? Probably nothing important. That's okay. Yes, I am. <laughs> sure, you like to exercise. Die. 
glad to be able to get through this so fast, though. Yeah, I'm kind of getting tired. But that's okay, I'll keep playing through this. When I say the word, it will probably activate. Cannons will fire, pins will swing, blades will slice. Each part will violently up and down. Only the tiny chest of will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Hold up, what hold up? I, I'm about to activate it now. This challenge? It seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very clear, and my traps are inexpertly cooked. This made this too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Yeah. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Nyeh. Eh? Eh? The town is pretty cute, though. Uh, anything I need to put in? Put this bin. Take this back. Anything I want to buy? I don't think I've killed enough yet, because I should have angry shopkeepers. So I'm gonna have to go back and uh, do some more killing. So bear with me for a little bit. What? I'll kill this guy first then. I have no idea what that is, but uh, I'm gonna kill it as fast as possible. Won't you die faster? Anger. And die faster. <laughs> okay, I gotta I think I gotta equip the knife again. That's why. There we go. Phew. Knives are better for killing. I have to admit, this music is pretty solid, though. I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing much else I can talk, really talk about. Tomorrow's going to be New Year's uh, Eve, so I'll be going to a friend's house and partying from there. I, I hope that'll be fun. Play some board games. Uh, I recently got Twilight Struggle. It's apparently one of the best board games according to Board Game Geek, and I have been excited to play it for a very long time. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Still really slow to kill.
next time I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna figure out how to like commit genocide on this entire thing. great or not, but what about killing them all? <sighs> actually, I think I'm just going to take a break, actually. Uh, I'm tired. Maybe I'll do another part another day, but uh, in the meantime, I hope you guys have a happy new year. I'm not going to talk to this guy. He's a loser. And just see where I can keep going from here. Sorry guys. Well, my name is Bennett. I'll probably play some Risk of Rain or some other games. Maybe play some Battlefront again, but for the moment, yeah, I'm just a bit tired, so. Okay, have a good night, everybody. Bye.